What is up, everybody? It's Aaron the Boss here. Not gonna make a long intro here. Uh, but yeah, haha, <laughs> here we go. What's up, everybody? It's Madden 17 gameplay, my very first Elgato capture gameplay for Madden. I am proudly accepting the fact that this channel is about to get better quality. I'm in love with it. Just want to make that quick announcement. <clears throat> Excuse me. So have. You're, you're gonna have a better you're gonna have a better time watching my videos and understand and see what's all going on without choppy stream twitchness all right peace out enjoy the video we get into the gameplay itself we had to make some acquisitions before the game we pick up Braxton Miller a big wide receiver off the free agency pool we only had like three or four starting wide receivers so picking up Braxton Miller was a big big move by us plus he's a rookie and he's six foot one we also made a trade uh i think with the cardinals we, we gave away kendrickson hayden in the pick for bashad perryman and mckelvin both a wide receiver and a cornerback filling in some holes in the depth chart that we really need to do unfortunately kendricks was a loss but that's all right looking at our schedule that's our upcoming games by week around the corner we are three and one on a three game win streak losing week one unfortunately and that's the division uh leader right there there's the Dallas Cowboys. They are three and one. They have the advantage over us, I believe, unfortunately. But let's hop into the game against the Green Bay Packers. What is up, everybody, and welcome. It's Sunday night prime time football. I would be a little bit more excited if I'm not already, but today it's the three and one New York Football Giants going up against the O and three. Packers, that's right, they are 0-3, I don't know who they have on their team, but as you saw at the beginning of the video, some transactions have been made, but that's alright, it's New York football going up against the legendary team itself, the Green Bay Packers, and as you see right here, it's the huddle, it looks like they got some decent players, I mean, they got, it looks like they got Clay Matthews still, he was retained, and um, Cam Bam Chancellor is ready to attack the defense, or the offense again, as last week, I, I believe, I haven't recorded in a while, nor stay tuned with my own games for a while, I'm pretty sure last week we had, uh, the, the football giants, sorry, the New York football giants had a pick six at the very beginning of the game, and here we are, it's Sunday football prime time, the giants will receive the ball first, as the Green Bay Packers will be getting the ball at halftime, Number 28 in the backfield receiving it. Will not take it down. Will go out past the 25, past the 30, down to the 32. Aaron Wood is like, let's go. So here comes Tom Savage football on the stats for so far this year. Two touchdowns, four picks, 334 yards. Last week he had a two touchdown performance as well as two picks, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember been a while since I've been up here in the booth. Looks like they got Bick Beasley Jr., but we will find out later to see who they have on their team. It's Tom Savage and company. It looks like David Johnson in the backfield. One safety in the back for the Green Bay Packers. Craig in motion. And they will give the ball to David Johnson. Trying to go through the man that he was getting tackled by, but couldn't. He will be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. A little bit inactive today for the Giants as Darrell Rivas out for most likely the remaining of the season. Chris Colney will be back within the next few weeks. Terrence Knight in the big missing piece on that D-line is back this week. Um, he was missing for the entire beginning of the season. It's second 11 coming up. Craig again in motion at the 31-yard line. David Johnson will get the ball in the Packers right there. Right there. Got him down at the 32-yard line. Will maybe get the game of one, if anything. Clay Matthews on the tackle. Let's look at the Giants offense. Almost pretty much the same. They added in a new wide receiver. Lance Kendricks was traded away. Interesting moves been going on in that front office for the Giants. But it's off for the better. <clears throat> Jared Starsbird was on the tackle, by the way. I think Clay Matthews will get the assist counted towards him. As you see at the bottom, Cleveland is 4-1 and one beating the Patriots. Tom Savage finds his man. He does. He finds Craig. Down the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, New York. After having no touchdowns for almost the entire season. Last week, they got two on the board. And this week, starting off with one. Crazy. And that might be why the Packers are 0-3. Vic Beasley trying to get the tackle. But he couldn't get it. Craig 
Uh, we we don't know who he is. Is I think he I think he was the third string tight end, but now the second string since Lance Kendrick is gone, and he's already making his presence known. That's a great way to make an impression on the team. That's a great way. 7-0, just like that, the Giants up. That's something that the Giants fan base hasn't seen, and even the team itself, in a long time. And look at the scores at the bottom. It's just kind of cool and interesting. So many teams are doing so bad, or so, so many teams are doing average. And as, as well as you saw, <coughs> our division itself... Hasn't been as great as well. Hasn't great. Hasn't been that great itself. As Jamin Winston is the quarterback for the Packers, four TDs and a pick on the season, a little over 600 yards in the passing margin. But yeah, the the Cowboys are three and one. I don't know if they won their game this week. Were three and one. I believe the Redskins was one and four or one and three, and the Eagles haven't won a game yet. I believe that's how it is. I don't really quite remember. It's at the beginning of the video. Eddie Lacy retains with the Green Bay Packers. A lot of Packers. Staying on the team. Eddie Lacy up the middle for getting about six yards. There's a lot of weird tackles going on right there. Second down and four coming up here. Jameis Winston looking to at least tie up the game here or even get a field goal to answer back on that last drive by the Giants. Bad by himself, he finds his man Jermaine Curse. Gets the first down at the 38 yard line, a gang of seven. Jameis will complete his first pass on the day. Jermaine, catch, Jermaine Curse on the catch. A little over four minutes remaining in the first quarter at the 38-yard line. First down and 10 coming up. Giants defense switches it up. Jameis Winston finds Vic, Be or Vic Beasley. Uh, he finds uh, Cole Beasley for a gang of four yards. We'll see who the uh, Packers offense has. Uh, their offensive line's pretty good. They got Mike Pouncey, Jake Werhort. Of course, we saw Eddie Lacy. They got... Cole Beasley, Jermaine Curse, and you can't forget the future All-Pro quarterback, Jameis Winston. Second down, six coming up at the 42-yard line. Uh, rocking with the same eye formation here. I believe it's the eye. Eddie Lacy in the back. Uh, it's a play action. It's a, it's a screen. Cole Beasley makes a man miss. Down to the 45-yard line. That's more than a first down. It's more than what they needed. The chains continue. Two catches on the day for 17 yards for Cole Beasley. Cam Bam Chancellor on the tackle. Two safeties in the back for the Giants defense here. Dallas did win. They beat Cincinnati. So they will go 4-1. Beasley in motion. They give the ball to Lacey. Doesn't go far. Gang of about two yards up the middle. And we don't really need to look at the uh, Giants defense. It's basically the same. Second down eight coming up at the 43-yard line. Eddie Lacy in the backfield. Two wide receivers on the left. Takes the ball. J uh, Jameis Winston finds his man. He does. Eddie Lacy, but it looks like he dropped the ball. Couldn't hang on to it. it was a very dangerous pass. A lot of pressure in Jameis's face, but that didn't get to him. That's how. You, that's what you want in the quarterback. You get the pressure in somebody's face. He does not break down. That's why the Packers drafted him. They like what they see in him. Eddie Lacy back in the backfield again. One safety for the Giants. Eddie Lacy to play action. Fumble! Get the ball! Fumble! The Packers retain it. They on Jordan with the sack and the fumble. It's fourth down and 20. The Packers are no longer at all in field goal range. As we were just praising Jameis, Jameis fumbles the ball. Oh my lord. Deion Jordan causing the ruckus in the backfield. Mike McCarthy is not pleased. He is not happy with what just happened. Fourth down and 20. They are now out of being able to score. They, of course, are punting the ball. Jones will be kicking it off. And the Packers will pin them down. Not very good. At the 30-yard line is where the Giants offense will take their next drive. First down 10. Tom Savage on the successful drive on the last one. Here we go. Let's see what they can do on this next drive. First down and 10 at the 30-yard line where they'll start their next drive here. With a little over a minute and 25 remaining, 126 to be exact. Two running backs in the backfield. Tom Savage drops back to throw it. He's scrambling, looking for somebody to throw to, and he finds his man CJ Fedorowicz, breaks the tackle. Getting about two yards here. Let's take a look who's on the uh, Packers defense. 
As that's what we've been looking for. Michael Brockers, Henry Anderson, Calais Campbell. It's not terrible. Uh, they got Brian Cushion, Zach Brown, Big Bees, and Clay Matthews. Their defense has not looked that bad at all. So I can't really, I can't really say what's going on. Maybe their team is just never on the same page. I mean, they broke down the last drive, so maybe it's just the schemes. Uh, maybe it's the typical Packers defense, and then just in general, it sucks. We don't know. It's second down and eight, though, coming up at the 40, at the 32-yard line. Sorry. Uh, Tom Savage drops back to throw it. He's scrambling, and he will dive or uh, slide. Sorry. For eight yards, third down, Lynch is coming up. He did not get the first down. It was so close, though. First quarter is winding down here. They might just take it out the clock here. Third down, Lynch. We'll see what the Giants do. And David Johnson gets the ball. He finds a hole down to almost midfield, down to the 49-yard line. He had a hole gashing through. First down, 10 coming up when the second quarter comes here. It's 7 not the Giants. Sports is brought to you by Head and Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Welcome, everybody. It's the second quarter here. Brandon Golden and Aaron King here with your commentators on the day. It's first down and 10 coming up. Big run for David Johnson on the last uh, play ending the first quarter. It's fresh quarter of football here at the second quarter here. Uh, Sunday night primetime football. 7 0 for the Giants in the lead. David Johnson shrugs off a man trying to break off more. Gets a bang of a, gets a gang of about one yard. Second down and nine coming up at midfield. Tom Savage is having a pretty good day today. He's got to show the world what he's made of. Today is his day to shine. And so far he's been shining. Let's not jinx him though. Tom Savage drops back to throw it. Looking for a man to find or throw to. He can't. He will just run. And he will not get the first down, but he gets a gain of about eight yards. Third down, two coming up. I like what we're seeing today from Tom Savage. Not just throwing it to anybody. He's not taking too many risks and uh, tight, tight windows. He's he's playing it safe today or tonight. David Johnson up the middle. Did he get the first down? He got a gain of about two to my eye. They're gonna give him the first down. First down and ten at the 41 yard line. That continues to drive and the chains. Five minutes winding down here with the second quarter. Two safeties in the back for the Packers. Two high receivers set here for the Giants. As Tom Savage finds CJ Fedora, which can't get away from number 53. That's a gang of about nine yards. Second down and one coming up here. The 32 yard line. That's CJ Fedora, which second catch on the day. So far, seven play or a total of ten plays for the Giants' offense, and that was Zach Brown actually on the, the tackle. The second down and one coming up. That's an Aguire in the motion. Tom Savage trying to find a man. He will just run. He will take himself. He will slide. Big gang to the 17 yard line. First down and ten. Who says Tom Savage can't run? Who says that? Tom denies that. Mike McCarthy's like, what the fuck? This man can run. Yes, it's Tom Savage. This man's a beast. First down 10 at the 17 yard line. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, Tom Savage drops back to throw it. And he finds his man. It's picked off. Joris Bird. I'm sorry. Kenny Vaccaro. At the 12 yard line. Tom Savage turns over the ball. Something that the Giants have had issues all year long is the turnovers, it's the throws, it's the picks. It happens there. Daryl Young on the tackle. Huge play by the Packers defense. They come up big. But can their offense shine here and make it well worth it? That we will find out here. It's first down 10 at the 12-yard line. Uh, one safety in the back showing blitz here as Jameis Winston drops back to throw and he finds Cole Beasley can't hang on to it That's incomplete. He drops the ball three for five today for Jameis Winston And second down ten will be coming up here tomorrow night stay tuned Tampa at Carolina the division rival game Second down ten at the 12 yard line Jameis Winston drops back to throw it screen and he just throws it away the 12 yard line still 
Third down, 10 coming up. Two straight incompletions by Jameis Winston. What's going on here, Jameis? Talk to the man. The defense, Giants defense, does not give up many points a game. They're one of the best in the league at it. Lady Lacy in the backfield along with 8 and 9. Third down, 10. Bad snap, but Jameis hangs on to it. He gets the pressure in his face, and that's another incompletion out to the sideline. Fourth down coming up. The punting unit will have to come onto the field here as fourth and ten comes around. Three and uh, or three minutes and twenty-three seconds on the clock. Of course, it steps due to the incompletion. Jones punts the ball, and that's a deeper. That's a deep one. And he will let that bounce out. That's at the sixteen-yard line. Tom Savage throwing an interception in the last drive. Uh, that didn't end well for him. Ern Wood was talking to him like, you, you can't be doing that, man. That's, that's a rookie mistake. I know you're young. You're still learning, but you can't be doing that. You don't, don't, don't do that. So that's what, that's what happened there over there. There's another pick! Zach Brown! Oh, my lord! First down and 10 at the 22-yard line. Jameis is coming back out as Tom Savage throws a second straight interception. Oh my lord. And now it's a flag. What is going on with the Giants team? Is this a meltdown that looks like it's offsides on the defense? Terrence Knight and uh, neutral zone infraction, sorry. Now they're at the 17 yard line with a gang of five. Earn Woods getting pissed off. I would too. That is not good. First down and five coming up here. Jameis gives the ball to Eddie Lacy. He will get brought down right away. Like a sandwich. Like a bacon sandwich. Ham sandwich like a burrito. Wrap us up like a butterfly. Second down and five. The 17 yard line. That's my uh, childish. And their uh, intellectuals coming in place right there. Two safeties in the backfield for the Giants. Second down five. They get the ball to Eddie Lacy, who will get brought down right away again. They will mark him actually a loss of one. Third down six coming up. This Giants defense doesn't give up anything. Let's we'll see if they can prove it here. Two minute warning here. Let's we'll see what the Packers will be able to do here. Coming up. Seven nothing Giants. And we are back here at the two minute warning. It's third down to six at the 18 yard line. And we just got news that Tom Savage will not be returning for the rest of the game. They are bringing in Jimmy Clausen. So this whole quarterback situation in New York continues as Jameis finds his man called Bleasley who can get the first down at the 12-yard line. He got enough inches in there to get it. Three catches for 23 yards today for Cole Beasley. Measley Beasley at the 12-yard line coming up. First down and 10. Eddie Lacy on the left of Jameis. Two safeties in the back for the Giants. They're inching and waiting to score here. And Jameis finds Jermaine Curse. There's the flag, but it would be counted as a touchdown. But we don't know what's going on. It could be holding. That's what it's looking to be here. Oh, it is. It's holding number 75, Jack Muhort. That will be coming back. That's a, gang. That's a loss of 10. First down 20 at the 22-yard line. As they score a touchdown to tie the game up, a bad holding call comes into play. As it's picked off, Robinson! Jameis now throws a pick. It's his her turn. Another turnover on the day. Aaron Woods getting pumped. It's like you guys want some weed. Oh my lord. What a beautiful interception. He was right there waiting for it. Jimmy Clausen comes on the field. We'll see what he can do here. At the 18-yard line, a minute 27 here. And Jimmy Clausen. Oh! Daryl Young almost had it. That could have been picked off. Daryl Young reacted just quick enough at the second and 10 coming up at the 18-yard line. 
It was incomplete, though. One safety in the back, number 31 for the Packers. Defense, Jimmy Clausen. It's a play action. Looking for a man. And it's incomplete out to the sideline. 0 for 2 so far for Jimmy. Third down, 10 coming up. A little over a minute to go here in the second quarter. It's almost halftime. Third down, 10 at the 18-yard line. Jimmy Clausen observing the field here. Third down, 10. He will drop back to throw it. Jimmy Clausen, he's got pressure in his face. He's looking for a man. He finds Sterling Shepard! Down to the 37-yard line. The Giants' deep or the offense will no huddle here. First down, 10. That continues to change. 18-yard reception for Sterling Shepard. Malcolm Butler on the tackle. Jer uh, Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it again. And he will not find this man trying to get into Sterling Shepard. That did not work out too well. That was incomplete. Could have been something way worse, of course. Second and 10 at the 37-yard line. 51 seconds left of the second quarter. Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it. They're trying to look for a man. He does. He finds uh, David Johnson. Gets the first down. Past the 40. Down to the 36-yard line. The Giants' deep or offense will call a timeout here. I don't know why I keep trying to say defense. I don't know. I really don't know. Sunday night primetime football here. The Giants looking to at least get a field goal on this drive. At the 36-yard line, they're there in uh, field goal range. First down, 10. That's 40 seconds to go in the second quarter. Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it. Looking for a man to throw to. And he does. He finds Sterling Shepard. Hangs on to it. No, he drops it. They call it incomplete. Second down, 10 coming up. He couldn't hang on to it all the way. That will be coming back. Second down, and 10 coming up at the... 36 yard line, 34 seconds remaining of the half here. Two running backs in the back for the Giants. They give the ball to David Johnson, running to the outside. And he fumbles the ball, but he's out of bounds. So that will not be going to the Packers. Third down, six coming up for the Giants. And 30 seconds to go at the 32 yard line. Just don't turn over the ball, Jimmy. That would be a bad decision here. Second down, or third down six, excuse me. Jimmy Clausen will be running. He's scrambling, and he goes out of bounds. That stops the clock at the 25-yard line. Looks like he's trying to get a touchdown. He's trying to take the starting job away from Tommy. Tom Savage. That continues to drive. He refers to 10 at the 25-yard line with 23 seconds to go left in the second quarter in the first half. Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it. Looking for a man. He can't. He gets sacked. Brought down right away. Second down to 15 coming up. Giants call a second timeout here. 7 nothing. Giants football. Now here we are again. Back from a commercial break. The Giants call their second timeout after being sacked. Jimmy Clausen. Second down 15 at the 30 yard line. 18 seconds left in the half. Jimmy Clausen trying to get into the end zone here. As he will drop back to throw it. And he finds Nelson Aguilar. It's incomplete. Number 32, Kenny Vaccaro in the vicinity to flex the pass. It's third down and 15 coming up. We'll see what the Giants uh, team will do. It looks like they will bring out the field goal unit. They will play it smart. The kick is up. And it's good. They will take a 10-0 lead. Hoping to go into halftime like that. Justin Tucker has been nothing but accuracy all year long for this team. And if he doesn't make the Pro Bowl, there's something wrong with the people's opinions here. Because this man has been like the entire team besides the defense. Scoring wise, Cole Beasley will get knocked down right away at the 22 yard line. First down 10, 6 seconds left. It looks like the... Uh, Packers offense will just kneel it here and just take it into halftime, taking it down 10 nothing, And that is exactly what they will be doing. 10 nothing, New York football Giants in the lead over the Packers. Can Jameis retaliate and come back later? In the second half, we will find out 10 nothing Giants looking to go on another win.
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the second half. The Green Bay Packers will receive the ball. The Giants received the ball in the first half on their very first drive, scoring a touchdown, scoring a field goal to end the, the half. Besides a kneel by the Packers offense. It's 10-0 Green or uh, not 10 nothing Giants. Green Bay James Winston looking to turn things around here in the second half. They have yet to get a win on the season. And they're hoping to get their first one tonight. But that is not looking like it's going to be. But never doubt the Green Bay Packers. There's been times in their seasons where they just start off slow. But then they end very fast. Or they just pick the things up. As Eddie Lacy will get the ball up the middle. Getting about one yard. Giants defense has been tough all year. Not many teams have been able to run on them. Nor even pass. So that's another case opener. Now the Giants offense was just better if they had a quarterback and maybe another extra elite wide receiver things might be a little different for this team but second down eight at the 26 yard line Eddie Lacy up the middle gang of about four six of uh, four or five yards third down inches coming up here haha -ha, Clinton Dix on the tackle former Green Bay Packer and the Giants will be expecting the run by the Packers I mean why wouldn't you it's third down inches don't want to risk a turnover in this small of a margin. The 34-yard line start down the inches. Eddie Lacy rumbling and bumbling, stumbling through. And he will get the first down, a gang of about two yards. Eddie Lacy carrying players past the line of scrimmage. It's first down and 10 coming up. C.J. Mosley on a tackle. Former Alabama player. Jameis Winston all alone in the backfield. At the 36-yard line. Jameis Winston, he finds his man Hill, and getting about seven yards there for the completion. Third or uh, second down three coming up. Third quarter with four minutes and a half to go here. Eddie Lacy in the backfield with Jameis. Second down three coming up. The 43 yard line. Eddie Lacy will get the ball, getting about two yards up the middle. Eight rushes for 21 yards today. Third down the one coming up. Max on the tackle with two on the day. Jamie, or uh, Jamie. Uh, Mike McCarthy get, getting into it. I was about to call him Jamie McCarthy. Don't know why. They got three wide receivers set here for the Packers offense. Third down and one. The 45-yard line. Jamie will stop back, drop back the throat. And he fights his man Wheaton, who gets tackled right away for a gain of four yards. First down, 10 coming up. Jameis Winston trying to get this team on the board somehow. It's first down, 10. They're looking to crawl back in this game. They get the ball to Eddie Lacy, who will get... Oh, he breaks a tackle, trying to break another up the middle. Gang of about five yards here. Taking a look at the offensive scoring on the day. The Giants have had less time on offense, but they are up by double digits. Third quarter it will be soon winding down as two and a half is rough to play. The second down and five is coming up at the 47 yard line. Three wide receivers on the field. Jameis Winston drops back to throw it. He's got pressure and he overthrows his wide receiver Marcus Wheaton. Number 82 is third down and five coming up. Can Jameis Winston ignite his DNA, his genetics to come back into this game? And be clutch. It's third down to five coming up. Two safeties in the back for the Giants. Jameis finds his man Cole Bleasley who gets the first down. Injury timeout. Cole's on the ground. He's holding his thigh. That can't be good. Four catches for 31 yards. He's been good today for the Packers offense. Getting them first downs. First and ten coming up at the 39 yard line. Cole Beasley will be sitting on the bench for this play at least. Marcus Wheaton will be replacing him. As Eddie Lacy will get the ball up the middle. Big gang! Up the middle, gang of 14. First down run by Eddie Lacinator. Quentin Rollins on the tackle. Third down, or uh, first down, come up at the 26 yard line. 10 0 Giants. Green Bay is now in field, uh, field goal position here. As they will give the ball to Eddie Lacy up the middle again. Getting about 5 yards. 11 rushes for 43 yards on the day for Eddie Lacy. David Johnson, speaking of running backs. 
David Johnson had a pretty decent debut. But after that, he's kind of fallen off. He hasn't had a steady, consistent running game. Hasn't been able to get the big holes as he wanted. As the, the Giants did draft a running blocking offensive type line. But just things haven't been going accordingly to plan, fortunately, for their team. And that, that's one big case for why they've been struggling as well as not being able to have a quarterback uh, that could give them the wins. It's third down six coming up. Tom Savage has been doing good. It's just the turnovers have been killers. So Jim, Jimmy, they got to find a quarterback that can not turn over the ball. they got they got to do something about that. As they find Eddie Lacy, who gets the first down, trucks one man. Down to the 13-yard line. The chains continue. First down and 10. It looks like that might end the third quarter here unless they want to get one play off. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. And now it'll take us in the third to the into the fourth quarter. 10-nothing. New York. We'll see you in the fourth quarter. Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Green Bay Packers are inching back, trying to get into the game. They are about to score here. It's first down and 10 at the 13-yard line. They're looking to get up six points, of course, seven with a PAT. They don't want to result on a field goal, but even that, that would still help them out. As Jameis Winston throws it into the back of the end zone where Casper the Ghost is hanging out. Incomplete, second down and 10 coming up at the 13-yard line again. Pressure in his face right away as he hikes the ball. This Giants defense isn't giving up here. Eddie Lacy on the left of Jameis. One safety in the end zone for the Giants defense. Second down, 10 coming up here. They will give the ball to Eddie Lacy, who will get a good gain. About four or five yards on that play. 13 rushes for 47 yards for Eddie. Third down, six coming up. Deion Jordan with the tackle. See what the Packers will do here. It's third down six at the nine yard line. The last thing you want to do is throw a pick here in the end zone. See what Jameis will do. He's got to play smart. He's ball alone in the backfield. And he finds his man Hill. But he steps out of bounds. Fourth down and six coming up. The Packers will bring out their field goal unit. To kick the field goal to at least make it a one score game. It's about a 20, 30 some yard field goal. And the kick is up and it is good. The Packers are finally on the board for the first time today. It took them over 50 minutes. But they got it. It's now 10-3 for the Giants. They are in the lead. Six minutes and 11 seconds to go. Jimmy Clausen still the quarterback for the Giants. Tom Savage is not coming back into the game. They benched him. We'll see what can happen here as number 28 fighting for every inch and every yard. He gets down to the 30-yard line. First down, 10 coming up, of course. 10-3, 6 6 remaining on the board. Let's see what Jimmy Claus, and he was at one point the third-string quarterback for this team. Now, right now, the starter, of course, but came into the game as the second starter, the second string. As David Johnson gets a nice block, a nice hole. First down, the 42-yard line, a gang of 12 yards. Seven rushes for 20, or, yeah, seven rushes for 28 yards today for David Johnson. That was his biggest run on the game. First down with 10 coming up. And they give the ball to David Johnson. No, they don't. It's a play action, and that's incomplete intended for Sterling Shepard. Two for eighth day. Jarvis Bird getting cocky. Sterling Shepard is just taking the beating. Second down 10 at the 42 yard line coming up here. See what the Giants def or the Giants offense will do. I keep saying defense. I don't mean that. And Jimmy Clausen will find CJ Fedorowicz trying to get loose. He gets past midfield at the 49 yard line. Third down and one coming up. We'll see what the Giants will be able to do here. Can they get the first down? Can they continue the drive? Two safeties in the back for the Packers. David Johnson on the left. Third down to one. They get the ball to David Johnson who finds a hole. He gets the first down. Gang of four yards. Eight rushes for 31 yards for David Johnson today. First down and 10. Michael Brockers on the tackle. A little over four minutes to go here. Jimmy Clausen gets the ball to David Johnson. It's a play action. 
Th uh, Jimmy Clausen going deep. Finds Nelson Aguilar. Touchdown. What a play. Jimmy Clausen. Just chewed up that defensive secondary. Mike McCarthy can't believe it. What a play. That was beautiful. Nelson Aguilar on the catch and the touchdown. That was magnificent. That was beautiful. That was probably one of the most beautiful catches and plays that we've seen in a long time. That was great. Maybe not a long time, but at least for this week. And Justin Tucker's kick is good up the same. 17-3, just like that for the Giants. What a play. That, that was great. That was a great play action. I really like how that was executed. At first, I thought that was going to be dangerous. But Jimmy Clausen shows otherwise. That was just beautiful. Jameis Winston down again by two scores. 17-3. Let's see if the Packers have any faith left of coming back in this game. They got over four minutes at the 25-yard line. Jameis all by himself. Nothing but wide receivers, and of course, yeah, nothing but wide receivers out there for the field. First down and 10, Jameis all by himself. He's got time in the pocket. He finds his man Treadwell, or Treadwell. Gets a game of about 4 yards, 9 for 17 for 61 yards today, and an interception by Jameis. Second down, 6 coming up. You see again in the backfield for the Packers. The 29-yard line, Jameis all by himself in the backfield. He's got time. And he's getting pressure as they find Hill again, but that will bring up a third down. Let me get a drink here. Excuse me. Uh, third down two. Coming up here at the 33-yard line. Jameis all by himself again. Nothing but wide receivers here. Four wideouts. The 33-yard line. Jameis waiting. Third down two. Hikes the ball. And he finds his man Treadwell, he gets the first down, continues to drive at the 38-yard line. First down, 10 coming up. It's the second catch on the day, both in the fourth quarter, and both on this drive. Jameis again will drop back to throw it. He sees a man in the flat, pressure's getting to him, it's Josh Hill again. Who will get taken right out of bounds for a gain of about 6 yards. 7 yards, they will mark it, second down, 3 coming up. Three catches for 19 yards a day for Josh Hill. The 45-yard line, second, uh, with two minutes and 37 seconds to go here. 17-3 is the score. Giants up. Jameis drops back to throw, and he finds his man Treadwell. He can't hang on to the ball. It's dropped. Incomplete. Another one. Another drop by the Packers offense. They've had that all day today. That's at least the fourth one. That's third down three coming up. Another third down. Can the Giants defense finally force a stop here? The 45-yard line. see in the backfield with Jameis. Wheaton in motion. We drop back to throw it, and he finds his man Wheaton, and he gets the first down. Continues to chain at midfield. 13 for 22 on the day for Jameis Winston. First down 10, that will bring us to the two-minute warning, 17-3 Giants at Lambeau. Can Green Bay pull off the victory? Can they pull up the upset? We will find out after the break. So it's Packer football. We are here at Lambeau Field, it's 17-3 New York football. What's up everybody, it's the fourth quarter here at the two-minute warning, 17-3 Giants on defense, Packers on offense. The Packers are trying to pull off the win here. They got a fresh two minutes to go at the 50-yard line. Let's see what they can do. Can Jameis ignite the DNA that he needs to do to be clutch? He throws a low ball there, but Hill hangs on to it for a game of about one. And the uh, Packers will do no huddle here. It's second down and nine. Coming up, four catches for 20 yards a day for Josh Hill. Second down nine at the 49 yard line to play action. Jameis Winston got time in the pocket. He's going deep. Bat it down. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. 14 for 24 now. Third down and nine coming up. What a great deflection by Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Reading that ball. Not giving up the play down the field at the 49 yard line. A minute 38 to go here. Jameis all by himself. 
He will hike the ball. And he's going deep again. He finds his man. Jermaine Curse. Touchdown. Green Bay. Jermaine Curse 49 yards down. And just like that, the Packers are back in it. A minute 32 left. And the kick is up for the PAT. Expect an onside kick. But they have all three timeouts left, so they might as well just kick the ball if they were safe. If you're Jimmy Clausen, what you got to do is you got to get a first down, of course, to end the game. But you don't want to give up a, a turnover, of course. As there's a flag on the play that might come back here for the Giants. Aaron Wood is not happy. It looks like that's going to be illegal block in the back. And that will be coming back even farther at the 14-yard line. It's now 17-10. A minute 27 at the 14-yard line. Three timeouts left for both teams. Let's see what the Giants can do. The Packers have one safety in the back. David Johnson gets the ball. He finds a hole. David Johnson. Oh, man, up the middle or up the side. Getting about 13 yards. First down and 10. Mike McCarthy not happy about that. Now two timeouts remaining for the Packers. They can still somehow win the game here. As it's first down and 10 coming up. David Johnson with a 13-yard carry on the last play for a first down run. It's 26-yard line first, or uh, a minute 22 left. David Johnson will get the ball again. He will break loose on the side again for a gang of six yards. Third, or uh, second down to four coming up. One timeout remaining for the Packers. And it's second down to four. If the uh, Giants get one more first down, that will end the game. Second down and four coming up here. Jarvis Byrne on the tackle. He's got three today. Packers crowd getting into it here. David Johnson or Nelson Aguilar in the motion. David Johnson will give the ball. Does a spin move, but does not work out. He will get tackled right behind the line. Loses three. Third down and seven coming up. A minute 12. That's the last Packers timeout. Let's we'll see what the Giants will do. 30 plays on the night for the Giants offense. Third down seven. Aguilar in motion. Jimmy uh, uh, Jimmy Clausen will drop back the throw. Incomplete. Number 93 in his in face. Fourth down seven. The Giants have to punt the ball away. Oh my lord. And just like that, it looks like the Packers have the momentum and the advantage here. We'll see. That's a deep pump by the Giants. Wheaton will take it out. And he will get brought down at the 26-yard line. We'll see if Jameis Winston can get this team on the board to tie the game. He's got one full minute to do so. We'll see what they can do here. It's first down 10 coming up. 26-yard line. They're down by 7. All they need is a touchdown to tie up the game here. Jameis Winston dancing around. He finds Josh Hill who will just step out of bounds. Gang of about seven yards. Second down and four coming up here. Jameis is 13 incompletions on the day. Not too bad today for Jameis. Second down and four coming up. 55 seconds remaining. Eddie Lacy in the backfield with Jameis. Jameis will drop back to throw it all by himself. He's got time in the pocket. Nobody can get to him. He gets sucked! Troy Bearman and Deion Jordan. No huddle, no huddle. Third down and eight. The clock is ticking. Tick, tock, tick. Third down and eight at the 28-yard line. Jameis all by himself. He's got time. He finds his man. He does. He stays in bounds. That continues to drive. That's a first down on the sideline. Jermaine Curse with the completion and the catch. It's his third on the day for 70 yards. First down and 10 at the third or the 42-yard uh, line. A field goal will not do it here today. They need a touchdown. Jameis Winston looking to give this team in the overtime. He will stay in the backfield. He gets sacked again by Deion Jordan. He's having a huge game. The talk is ticking. Clock is ticking. 15 seconds is going to be coming here. 14. Spikes the ball. And there will be 13 seconds left on the board. That will lose a down. It's third down and 18. 
at the 34 yard line. 13 seconds left. If you're the Giants, you cannot give up the first down in the big play. <laughs> Third down 18. James will drop back to throw. He's going deep. He finds his man, Treadwell. Breaks a tackle. He's down. 10 5. Touchdown, Green Bay! Holy moly, we have a game! Aaron Wood does not feel pleasant about that. Just like that, the Packers are on the board, tying it up. It looks like we're going in overtime. It's all tied up here, 17-17, unless they can get a kick return here somehow. We will find out. They got four seconds, three, two, one second on the board. We'll see what the Giants will do here. This first down and 10 is coming up at the 29-yard line. It looks like they're just going to just try it out here. I mean, they got nothing to lose here. The pick six of the Packers is unlikely a pick, yes, but pick six unlikely. We'll see what Jimmy Clausen can do. He's scrambling, looking for somebody to throw to, and he will just throw it away. We are going in overtime at 17-17. The Packers, 10-point scoring drives here, and they had a field goal, and then a touchdown. They have scored 10 points in a row. We are going in overtime. And the Giants will not receive the ball. Of course, it's the Packers. And the Packers will receive. The Giants will defend the left. We'll see if the Giants defense can force a stop here. As the Packers offense will be coming on the field. Seven minutes left of the game. It is overtime. If nobody scores within the next seven minutes. They will end in a tie. We will find out here. As Morris will take it out. Not fumbling it. At the 23-yard line, that's where Jameis Winston and company will take their drive. Fresh quarter of football on their way, just like the fourth quarter. First down, 10 coming up. Jameis Winston all by himself in the backfield here. See what he does here. And he's trying to find this man. He does. He sees Wheaton on the sideline. Gang of seven yards. That's another completion. Second down, three coming up. The Giants defense is getting tired. You can see it in their eyes. Second down three coming up. Oh, man. The 30th yard line. Eddie Lacy will get the ball. And he cannot go anywhere. He stopped behind the brick wall. Third down and two coming up. They will give him a yard. But that's it. Third down and two coming up. Quentin Rollins on the tackle. At the 30 yard line. 542 on the board. And he lays it, we'll get the ball, he gets the first down, passes the line of scrimmage. He continues to drive in the chains. Five minutes to go here in overtime, it's first down 10 at the 35 yard line. Wheaton in motion, Jameis Winston drops back to throw and he finds his man, Cur uh, I don't know who that is, 84, I don't know who that is, I think it's Beasley but I'm not quite sure. Nope, it's O'Leary. I don't know who that is. Six, second down and one coming up. Quentin Rollins on another tackle here. The 43-yard line, two-hour receiver set. Eddie Lacy will get the ball up the middle. Another first down past midfield to the 49-yard line. This Giants defense cannot stop the Packers offense. The Packers are looking to get their first win on the season. It's first down and 10 coming up. The clock is winding down under four minutes to go in overtime. Jameis Winston and company here. First down 10. Jameis does a play action. He's in the backfield. He's got time. He gets he throws it. Picked off. Quentin Rollins. Down to the 49-yard line. It's Giants' turn. All they need is a field goal, and they win the game. Oh, my Lord. What a game this has been. It's, it's prime time. It's Giants and Packers, a historic 
both historic teams playing against one another. This is a great game. I'm enjoying this. Get your popcorn. Get your soda pop. I'm loving it. Second down and 10 as David Johnson does not go anywhere on that play. And on that run, there's three minutes left of the overtime. All the Giants need now is a field goal and they will win the game. That is how the rules go here. Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it. He's brought down right away. Kalias Campbell will get the sack. Third down, 13 coming up. I didn't, have any, I didn't have any time to react. Oh my god, he just came right through. That's a nano blitz, but we can't do that. Third down, three, third down, 13 coming up. 220 remaining here. The 46-yard line. Jimmy Clausen will drop back to throw it. And he gets sacked right away. There's a flag. That might be coming back. Face mask. Oh my god. Kalias Campbell making a bad, bad place in the football rules. Oh, you don't grab the face mask. That continues the drive. They could have had the ball back. But, oh my lord, the face mask kills them. As David Johnson runs up the middle, up to the 37-yard line. Two-minute warning, 17-17. We have a football game, baby. This is what we call football. 17-17 even. It's 17 even here in Green Bay under the lights. We are here in overtime. The Giants have the football. Second down, two coming up. All they need is a field goal here in overtime to win the game. Jameis Winston throwing an interception to Quentin Rollins on their last drive. We'll see what the Giants can do here. David Johnson will give the ball. He runs out to the outside. David Johnson to the sideline. Five. He's in. Down to the two. But there's a flag, and that might be coming back now. Holding. It's on offense versus defense. It's on the offense. Daryl Young. Oh, my Lord. There's been so many flags and so many penalties. It's been crazy in this overtime of play. This has been one hell of a football game. It's first down 10 coming up here. And they give the ball to David Johnson again. He will run out to the outside past the 30-yard line as the clock will drain here. They're trying to get into as much field goal range as they can so it's easier for Justin Tucker. Second down, seven coming up. A little over a minute and a half to go. They give the ball to David Johnson. He runs out to the outside. Getting about four yards. 15 rushes for 61 yards on the day. It's third down and two coming up here. Under a minute left of overtime. The Giants have the football. They will give the ball to David Johnson. Up the middle. He does. He gets the first down. And the clock will continue the tick here. And they will bring down under 20 seconds. Charles Byrne on the tackle. It looks like they might do one more running play. They're at the 20 yard line. Jimmy Clausen. What are you doing man? Hike the ball. They give it to David Johnson up the middle. Call a timeout. Timeout for the Giants at the 8-yard line. Justin Tucker will be coming out on the field for the game winner. First down and goal. It's a 25-yard field goal. The Packers now call a timeout to ice the kicker. Here we go, baby. Turn up your volume. Turn up your speakers. It's about to get real. Justin Tucker. And the kick is up. It's good! The Giants walk away with a victory. What a nail biter down to the very final second of the game. The Giants continue their game winning streak. They now up it to four. Or three, I don't know. I think they're, what are they, three and one now? I don't know. They're four and one, three and one. They continue their game winning streak. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember what week are we on. But the Packers do not get their victory. This is Aaron the Boss. Sound like a boss. Thank you for watching. This is the Green Bay Packers and Giants full game. 
What a game that was. Thank you for watching. This is Aaron the Boss. So for the Giants, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1.